All of you can Good see the screen. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, this is our uh, fourth lecture uh, of the unit second. And uh, yesterday we have discussed the point of element of the uh, management information system or the properties of the MIS. Or you can also consider it as a characteristic of the MIS. Which are the characteristic properties or the element of the MIS? There are five elements. Yes. Uh, first, first one is timeliness. Okay. Accuracy, Good. consistency, completeness, and relevance. Completeness and relevance. Okay. In detail, we have discussed this yesterday. And we have also discussed if any of this uh, property does not get satisfied, then uh, we cannot get the better result of the better. We cannot get the better result from the MIS. Let me just recap shortly, and then we'll start. So in the timeliness, we have seen that those who are utilizing the information system, MIS, uh, like the different kind of managers, they must get the information available timely. Okay, there should not be delay. And when they can get the information available timely, only when the updation happens timely and the report generation happens timely. Then second, we have seen accuracy. The information that manager should get, they, they, that information must be accurate. When the information can be accurate, only when the updation happen is the accurate one. Okay. Then third, we have seen the consistency. The report generation, uh, the result of the report generation that manager should get, they, it must be get generated consistently. Regularly report generation must happen. Okay. And in order to generate the reports regularly and get the uh, result regularly from the MIS, it is also required that we should maintain the MIS regularly. We should do the updation in the MIS regularly. This is the third element we have seen. Fourth, we have seen regarding the completeness. Means what the managers who are using the MIS, they must get the they must get the complete information. Okay, because if the information is complete, then the decision cannot be take place. You know, to get the complete information and submit it to the uh, managers. Also, one more uh, one requirement is what the data entry that is happening that must be complete. It it no it must not be incomplete. And last one that we have seen that is related with the relevance. Whatever information needed by the managers, only that information they must get. It should not happen that some unnecessary information is provided by the MIS to the managers. So it can happen only when the relevant information get updated. The data entry of the relevant info, data, data entry of the relevant data must be takes place. If irrelevant data get uh, as a get input, then definitely the irrelevant output will be generated by the EMIS. So these are the points yesterday we have discussed. Now, uh, today this is a very interesting topic: managing the information system and the organization. Okay. Now, before we move on to the actual topic of the discussion. Uh, we will discuss one example so that it will make the concept uh, more clear. Now, let me let me ask you. Now, I don't know how many of you are having the washing machine in your home. Okay. But some of you might be having. Now, I want to ask you. When you purchase the washing machine for your home. Okay, for the washing purpose. What changes you observe in your home or you don't observe any changes? 
that is my question you got the question yes shall i repeat the question yes if new washing machine is purchased in your home what changes will happen in your home that is my question or there will be, there will not be any change the change in your home in the sense the behavior of the people who are living in your home activities of the people who are living in your home etc etc that is my question yes speak up question samajh la ka yes all of you understood the question yes sir no nah, yes now try to give the answer it might be the wrong right okay we'll discuss on that so time ma sai kapde dhuna sathi to kami lagel kami lagel very good hmm then kapde jast dhuvayla padta आपण नेहमीपेक्षा जास्त काय करू कपडे आपण धुण्यासाठी काढू करेक्ट दॅट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट देन येस वी विल ऑल्सो टेक द डिसिजन हु विल ऑपरेट दॅट वॉशिंग मशीन करेक्ट यू ऑल्सो टेक द डिसिजन रिलेटेड विथ द हाउ मच इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दॅट वॉशिंग मशीन करेक्ट Yes. yes also you need to take the decision like which cloth can be washed by that washing machine ka asa hai ka sagles prakar che kapde washing machine dhuun kaadta nahi nahi these are the certain clothes which cannot be washed by the washing machine understood and yes. the effort required to wash the clothes will be also get reduced tremendously yes बरोबर ना आता जे जे कपडे धुतात त्यांना एक्झॅक्टली कळालं असेल वॉट आय एम सेईंग येस ऑर नो देन हा येस हा येस एनिबडी वॉन्ट टू स्टेल एनिथिंग सो वॉट आय वॉन्ट टू से वेन समथिंग न्यू सिस्टीम कम्स इन युअर होम the number of changes occur within in your home yes or no within the people who are working there or uh, living there correct yes sir changes happen or not yes definitely changes occurs now similar point i want to discuss here when in any organization some new system get introduced now which new system going to be is going to be get introduced here management information system yes or no yes or no yes sir yes sir previously there yes. was a no mis in your organization or in your business but now newly you have started to use the management information system correct got the situation yes and now what we are trying to discuss what changes will occur in your organization just like we have discussed when some new system comes in your home number of changes occur in your activities of your, of your home and the house in the similar way in the business or in the organization when some management information get introduced what can be the different changes occur within a activity of your organization or different operation that being get performed by your organization do you understand the point yes yes sir do you understand what we are trying to discuss yes sir what we are trying to discuss if some new 
management information get introduced in the business or in xyz organization what can be the different changes will occur in that organization that is nothing but our today's point of discussion and that is nothing but the managing information system and the organization okay now as the point we have discussed now uh, by taking the example of that's why i have taken the exa example of washing machine intro, uh, uh, introduction introduction of or bringing the washing machine in your home and i asked you the question what can be the changes that occur so similarly managing the information system and within within uh, within your organization we need to do or that manager need to do number of organizational changes in that particular organization so when mis there is a introduction of the mis or when the new or the information system is bring into the any organization it is not simply the some hardware is brought in your organization or it is not simply the some software is brought in your organization okay it is more than that okay if some new mis is introduced in your organization or company manager or the company brought some new management information system modern mis which was not there previously newly purchased and brought into the operation of the company the number of organizational changes has to be done okay now what kind of changes has to be done changes can be done related with the jobs changes can be done related with the skills and changes can be done related with the management of that particular mis okay so sometimes whenever the new information system as a mis is introduced in the organization entire organization need to be get redesign around the mis what do, what what do you mean by the entire organization need to be redesign around the information system what does it mean entire organization no ha huh, need to be redesigned manje te system nusar aapala changes karav lagtil aapke je organization very good things are aapala je navin mis jo naya mis humne introduce kiya hai uske hisab se hame kya karna karna padega हमारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में चेंजेस करने पड़ेंगे तो चेंजेस कैन बी रिलेटेड विद द चेंजिंग द जॉब ऑफ सर्टेन एम्प्लॉय ओके वी नीड टू एक्वायर सम न्यू स्किल और वी नीड टू डू द चेंजेस इन द मैनेजमेंट आल्सो सो दीज चेंजेस हैज टू बी डन इन ऑर्डर टू डू द मैनेजिंग इन ऑर्डर टू मैनेज द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम विद इन यूर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके एंड सो हियर आई हैव मेंशन सो हियर इट इज नेसेसरी दैट द नाउ हु इज गोइंग टू मैनेज द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम डेफिनेटली द manager understood so it is necessary that information system manager understand how the new system will affect the specific organizational process and the organization as a whole so the manager need to decide what will be the changes will happen in the different processes of the organization what changes will need to do in the different procedure of the organization etc etc so this all things has to be decided by the manager of that information system okay now depends on the organization okay it depends on the organization changes can be a smaller changes or changes can be a larger changes understood so it depends on the what is the what is the how much how much large is your organization or what is the scale of the business etc etc now what we are going to discuss today what some common changes that has to be made within a organization when some new information system or new mis comes within the business or get introduced within a business organization okay now before we go to the actual that changes let me take one more example and that example will clear everything okay now i want to tell you the example of banking okay i hope all of you have the experience of banking uh, I, i hope all of you uh, withdraw the money deposited the money etc etc yes or no 
Yes. Yes. Now in the banking sector also, there is a utilization of the information system. All of you are agree. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now I want to imagine the situation when there is a no when there was a no computer. Okay, we are talking about the banking activity. What you have to imagine? There was a no computer. Now what? What would be the procedure to deposit the money? That is my question. Do you understand the question? Yes, sir. Yes. Now tell me the procedure to deposit the money in the bank where there is a no presence of the computer. So there is a no. If there is a no presence of the computer, it means there is a no presence of the Information system. Yes, all of you are agree. Yes, sir. Now yes, tell sir. me the steps. How the money will get deposit? Suppose you want to deposit money in the bank. What you will do? Hmm. For traditional method. बरोबर हा यस मयूर कॅरी ऑन सर जसं रजिस्टर आता आपण बँकेत गेल्यानंतर जसं आपण डिपॉझिट करायला जातो तिथे ते सगळं कम्प्युटराइज आहे तर आपण जर कम्प्युटर नसून तर तिथे रजिस्टर असेल त्याच्यावर सगळं किती पैसे घेतले किती डिपॉझिट करायचे सगळं ते लिहून घेते मीन्स फर्स्ट थिंग यु नीड टू गो टू द बँक ऍज युजल यु नीड टू टेक द स्लीप feel the sleep if the crowd is if the crowd is there you need to stand in the queue give that sleep to the employee who is working there got the point yes now when there is no computer that employee who is working there will also need one more assistant yes for what purpose he uh -huh. need to search your name in the register yes or no yes sir so one single employee cannot do this correct while that employee is giving the money of some another employee another customer he need the one more assistant to search the name of the next customer correct yes sir because there is no computer where the computer what just make the name of the entry and search you get the result within a second but if there is no computer will it happen within a second no no so the he he need one more extra person to search the name of that customer and then employee can after searching the name employee will update his balance and update, take his money etc etc and give him the slip of the deposition this is the traditional system correct yes sir yes sir so can i call depositing depositing the money within a bank is a one process yes or no yes sir and how to deposit the money in the bank step by step i am calling it as a procedure here i am trying to tell you difference between the process and the procedure that is because that we are going to uh, that is our next point what i am telling you difference between the process and the procedure can anybody tell me the difference because these two 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 terms are very confusing yes or no some of you might be thinking both are the same thing are both are the same thing process and the procedure no sir no just i procedure said what बिग पिक्चर ओके हाईलाइट ऑफ सम एक्टिविटी जस्ट आई सेड डिपॉजिटिंग द मनी विद इन अ बैंक इट इज अ वन प्रोसेस करेक्ट 
procedure is what the detail activity within that particular process like detail activity what just i told you go to the bank take the slip fill the slip now how to fill the slip okay give it to the employee make entry within a register how to make with entry within a register etc these steps are nothing but the procedures got the point yes or no yes sir yes sir what yes. i said depositing the money within a bank is a is a is nothing but the highlight is the big picture that is i am calling as a process the main activity uh, in another simple way depositing the money within a bank is what main activity and i am calling it as what the process but within that main activity certain small activities has to be performed one by one yes or no yes sir yes and that small activity performed by one by one with some rules that is i am calling the procedure got the point yes so yes, can sir. i call the procedure is nothing but the subset of the process yes 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 so let me ask you the question if the changes in the process happen definitely the changes in the procedure will also happen yes because procedure yes. is a subset of the process got the point mm. okay mm. so that will discuss next next point we have the in the changes now as we are discussing the traditional banking and the modern banking nowadays what is the situation is there need of more than one employee within a single window in the bank no no because computer is there on that computer not just word excel that kind of software are present but ba every bank has their own software which is nothing but the called as the banking information system install on that their particular terminal on that particular pc understood so nowadays nowadays procedure is very simple you just have to give the slip he make the entry with the keyboard using the computer and within some short time you will get the your activity completed so what i am trying to ask you as compared to the traditional banking nowadays in the modern banking there is a introduction of the automation yes what is i am asking okay, as compared with the traditional banking nowadays in the modern banking there is a introduction of the automation what do you mean by the automation automation means what yes what is the meaning of automation what is the meaning of automation hmm any guess answer is ana yes sir what is mean by the automation uh, sir tya madhe sarva automatically handle hote manje man power number of activities jasa. happening automatically that is the meaning of what Ma automation yes or no yes so what i am asking as compared to the traditional banking nowadays in the modern banking is there automation available or not yes nowadays yes. because yes. computer is there yes. correct and this yes. automation is available because of what because of on the computer some management information system is available understood because of that there is a no no need of some extra employee there to search your name in the registers make the entry etc etc a single employee can do this activity because the because of what because of the introduction of the information system and that is nothing but the first change in the organization for example bank that is the change of automation got the point yes sir 
so can we say because of the information system automation is happen in the number of organization that is the first change correct yes sir yes and that is the thing i have mentioned here first and the most evident form of the organizational change is nothing but the automation that is outcome of the introduction of the information system in the organization now this automation is helping the employees yes or no assisting the employee means what helping the employee correct because yes, of sir. what automation yes, is there sir. because of the introduction of the information system correct yes sir yes and because of the automation it is the helpful for the employee yes or no yes yes sir yes, that is i have mentioned the new information system help the employee in perform their task more efficiently and the more effectively within a less time and within a less cost the employee can perform the activity and here i have mentioned some of the example of automation that is occurred because of the information system first example i have written here computerized stock or inventory or material checking this is example related with what some industry correct or not yes sir yes is this the example of automation yes or no automatic things are happening here no need to do the manual yes. thing that is being done with the register correct yes yes sir okay and second example i have mentioned here the railway reservation system for that case study also we have discussed because of the introduction of the irctc information system number of things are happening automatically correct or not yes sir yes okay so this is nothing but the first organizational change that is nothing but what automation which is nothing but occurring because of what because of the introduction of the information system okay now second change which also we have discussed shortly second change is the business process redesign now this second and third change is automatically occur because of the automation and our second change is what business process redesign the more power, this is the most powerful organizational change in the business process redesign redesign in which the existing business process need to be analyzed simplified and redesign existing business process take the example of banking only what was the existing business process related with the depositing the money related with the banking oh yes what was the existing business process in banking related with the depositing the money mayur yes sir what i ask what is the existing in the existing in the sense what was the traditional business process while depositing the money in the bank the same process that we discussed earlier yes or no yes sir yes but because of the introduction of the information system that existing business process can be analyzed analysis analyze means what what is mean by the analysis of the existing business process सर कोणाच तरी माईक चालू आहे हु इज दिस कुडके ओके व्हाट आय एम आस्किंग व्हाट इज मीन बाय एनालाइजिंग द एक्झिस्टिंग बिझनेस प्रोसेस हम्म do you got the question why shall you
what is meant by no, analyzing sir. the existing business process sir analyzing existing business and apun konta type karte process procedure like ata banking je matlab tumhi deposit cha tar le ja traditional je तिथे आपल्याला स्लीप रूम मग ते अनालाइज करणे म्हणजे काय अनालाइज करणे म्हणजे काय की काय आपले चेंजेस काय काय आणू शकतो हा व्हॉट कॅन बी द चेंजेस मेड सो दॅट दॅट प्रोसेस कॅन बी मेड मोर सिंपलर यस ऑर नो दॅट इज द अनालिसिस अँड बाय डूइंग द अनालिसिस वी कॅन थिंक ऑन हाऊ इट कॅन बी रीडिझाइन अंडरस्टूड ऑर नॉट यस सर यस अँड सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम वी कॅन डू द analysis of existing ki existing madhe kay hota ani because of the introduction of the computer and the information system how we can avoid the existing business process to make this business process more simpler easier yes or no and so the redesign right. of the business process result in nothing but the reorganization of the workflow and elimination of unnecessary repetitive steps will this happen or not because of the introduction of the information system within a bank it will happen or not reorganization of the workflow instead of the register there comes the computer on the computer there comes the information system because of that workflow will be change or not that is my question i hope you are getting the meaning of workflow yes workflow change will can i yes yes oh yes okay you guys student try to give the response as quickly as possible so that we can proceed further if understood not understood you need to tell me at that point only okay i am asking you the question and waiting for the 10 second that is not that is not the good thing correct try to give the response as quick as possible yes no whatever it may be if not understood i will try to clarify it at this point only but don't waste the uh, time got the point yes 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 sir so reorganization of the workflow means sir. what because of the introduction of the information system the changes in the workflow will happen working style will happen unnecessary and the repetitive step will also get eliminated repetitive step kay hote tyacha madhe ki tith one more employee we are needing and he is searching the only doing the same thing number of time searching the name of the customer every time this is nothing but the unnecessary and the repetitive step yes or no yes yes sir and so if the business process so uh, because of the introduction of the information system business process get redesign but business process get redesign manje nakki kay hote changes in the working or workflow of, of that business process happen elimination of unnecessary and the repetitive st step happen etc etc and this and these changes okay because of these changes it has been proved that the functionality of that particular organization has improved very much yes or no yes if you compare the working style of today's banking and traditional banking there is a huge difference okay and because of why this difference because of such kind of introduction of the technology within a banking sector we are taking the example of banking all of you understood this kind of system this kind of example we can take for the industries also but for your understanding purpose we are taking the example of banking correct understood yes sir okay and so here i have written the business process redesign example that is the information system in the banking sector okay now as we have discussed if the business process need to be redesign correct definitely the business procedure also has to be get redesign correct yes as i said the business procedure is nothing but the subset of the business process if the process get redesign definitely the procedure will also get redesign and that's why i have written here next next effect of the information system is on the various procedure that run within that particular organization so automation automatically force that particular organization to do the rationalization of the procedure 
does anybody know what we mean by the rationalization of the procedure here i have written rationalization is nothing but simply what making the changes in the procedure got the point rationalization manje kay making the modification changes. or making the changes within a procedure understood now as we have discussed depositing the money within a bank is a one process we have seen what kind of changes happen in that and one of the activity of that process is nothing but employee searching the name of the customer within a register and making the entry now that particular step will be will be get changed where the employee directly search the name of that customer within a computer and that information system and will make the changes understood so likewise whatever the steps are there in that process as we are calling it as a procedures that every procedure will be get change and that is nothing but the called as rationalization of procedure here i have written rationalization is nothing but the reorganization of company in order to increase its operating efficiency what is mean by the operating efficiency if that employee is needing more time using the traditional method to do the activity because of the introduction of the information system he will need the less time that is nothing but what operating efficiency will get increase correct got the meaning of increasing the operating efficiency yes sir yes sir okay so this uh, this kind of reorganization or this kind of modification can increase the size of that company or can also decrease the size of that company can also increase the number of employee needed for working or can decrease the number of employee required for working in case of the banking sector let me tell you because of the introduction of the information system can you tell me whether the number of employee requiring is decrease or the increase to decrease decrease exactly now this thing this thing has happened in the number of sector you must be knowing correct that we are calling this as one of the disadvantage of introduction of the uh, introduction of the technology computer and this kind of system uh, in the world yes or no so yes. reorganization or rationalization of the procedure or the process make need to, uh, it it might affect on the size of your company number of employee which are working in your company and definitely it will make the changes in the policy and the rules correct we need to make the changes in the policy and the rules also yes or no yes sir yes also changes in the strategy related with the offering the different product also change okay so this kind of different changes can be happen because of the rationalization of the procedure rationalization of procedure can identify what was the drawback meaning here you can see the automation bring bottleneck in the production system and the forces to do changes in the existing arrangement of the procedure and the structure so at because of the automation changes in the procedure occur changes in the process occur because of the automation what was the drawback of the previous existing system that can be easily get identified all of you agree yes sir what yes, i said because of the automation what was the drawback what was the limitation of the existing arrangement of the procedure and structure that easily get identified okay and one of the objective primary objective of this information is information system introduction uh, in the business organization is what simplify the procedure and the workflow and take the advantage of the system okay so because of the rationalization of the rationalization of the procedure it has become possible to make the continuous improvement in the quality of organization product and the service all of you agree with this point because of the rationalization yes, of procedure sir. it become possible to make continuous improvement in the quality of organization product and the service all of you agree yes you understood yes, the meaning of this for example yes. service nowadays provided by the bank and the service provided of the bank before 10 years there is a lot of change and the improvement has happened correct or not rationalization of procedure i told you rationalization of procedure means making the modification changes in the procedure it has become possible to make continuous improvement in the quality of organization product and the services 
yes it is correct or not yes second last point this one yes what i said because of the rationalization of procedure rationalization of procedure means what making the changes in the procedure it has become possible to make continuous improvement in the quality of organization product and the services it has happened or not yes it yes. happened i also told the example of nowadays banking services you are getting and the services which we are there before the 10 years or the 15 years understood yes so here rationalization that is the modification or changes is in the changes in the procedure mana kiwa process mana is necessary for company for what purpose for the purpose of increasing the revenue now because of these changes company revenue can be increase or not do you got the question or shall i repeat the question sir repeat the question what i said because of this rationalization i told you the meaning of rationalization modification changes in the process procedure uh, service providing etc etc is they because of this increase in the revenue of particular organization can happen or not yes sir revenue means what yes revenue means what income income exactly their income how how it, income how it can happen tell me the reason also sir sir mala two employee lagat asen ek employee cha kaam cost cutting zali tidha computer karat asen tar mala cost cutting zali correct hello हाँ यस कॉस्ट कटिंग राइट सर तेतर जाले बैंकिंग चा दुरुष्टी ने पन कस्टमर ला सर्वीस जर चांगली मिले तस तर आपन त्याज बैंके कड़े जाओ करेक्ट और नॉट हाँ यस इफ सम कंपनी गिविंग द गुड सर्वीस यू विल गो टू दैट कंपनी वनली दैट इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट आल्सो देर इज इंक्रीज इन द रेवेन्यू and the point नाउ यू जस्ट टेल मी द डिक्रीज इन द कॉस्ट ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्ट विल गेट रिड्यूस फॉर एग्जांपल रिलेटेड टू द बैंक यस और नो यस सर एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट एडवांटेज वी कैन गेट because of introducing the management information system or broadly information system within a business organization okay so if this system get introduced in the organization what changes has to be made that is nothing but our today's point and that is nothing but the point of managing the information system what changes has to be made or what changes automatically will occur first one was what what was the first change automation first change was nothing but the automation automaticness will come within your organization yes and yes, because sir. of the automation because of the automation next two changes will automatically occur correct or not yes sir which next yes, two changes first is nothing but redesigning the business process and second that yes. lastly we have discussed rationalization of the procedure in the sense modification or changes in the modification or changes in the procedures all of you understood this point yes sir yes, okay any doubt you can ask me okay I, i also told you don't waste the time okay i am asking the something to you and you are waiting if not telling yes no nothing understood so if somebody some point not understood you need to ask me at that point only so that we can discuss on that point only and will not waste the time correct got the point yes sir because here already we are getting number of problems while teaching online and um, because of your delay in the response i don't know 
it it is happening because of the network or what uh, uh, i don't know that point but what i'm expect you need to give the quick response might be the positive negative whatever it may be understood yes sir yes sir okay uh, that's it for the two days okay next time we'll see the new point again okay shall we stop here Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and try to avoid the. Okay, I I initially I used to give the switch off your mic. Yesterday also I I have removed the two students from the this lecture. Today also I have removed one student. So keep take care of your mic because I am recording this video, and it is if somebody's voice from the if the voice from somebody's home comes, then it is disturbing the other student also. Okay, take care of that thing. Okay. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.